Sawa, everybody, it's Zilx here, and welcome back to more Pokemon Sienna. Off screen, I did a bit of training, got mainly everyone up to level 30, except for Charlotte, because she fainted. Um, so here there's a Taurus, and there's apparently an item behind it. Kinda want that item, don't know how to get it. But that's okay, there's another item right there that I'll probably grab as soon as I'm done with this battle, so I'll see you guys right after that. Alright, done with that trainer. Let's see, there was a cherry berry there. I believe that heals paralysis, so we can actually use that um, really quickly. Berry pouch. Cherry. Yep. Use that on George. And that's burn. Alright. Oh man! Sorry, but I keep yawning. So this is Angara Town. The mountain is Vista. Alright, so... Is this the daycare? No, Moo Moo Cafe. So I think... If we get some of that milk... So, um... The Tauros, we know where it is. But, uh, <laughs> I don't know, I don't know how to get it back, because all he says is Moo Moo. <laughs> so I'm going to heal up really quickly, I'll be uh, right back. Alright, now that we're fully healed, let's explore the town and see if we can find um, where or how we can get the Moo Moo back. So it's here at the bike shop. Yeah, sure, I'll buy one. <laughs> Alright, so let's keep looking around here. Maybe we'll find the, uh, the Moo Moo, the Moo Moo Man, which will... Alright, well, with nothing really much to do, let's see if we can challenge the gym. So, Ricky discovered the darkness within. Oh, goody, 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 goody gumdrops. This is a dark gym. Alright, let's start with Charlotte because I can. <laughs> and I really have nothing else to start with. So, I guess I'll see you guys after this battle. Sorry to make a lot of cuts in this video, but I don't want it to be too long. Alright, so they also have, apparently, some poison types too, because that last chainer had a poison type. I dreamt of becoming a ninja, so I joined this gym. Dot dot dot. Dibba don derp. He wants to become a ninja, yet he's a juggler? Sense is not made! I also study the way of being, or of the ninja. Ninjas have a long history of using anima. Okay, sorry for giving these guys the random stereotypical Japanese ninja accent, but um, it, it, it's hard to resist. I mean, come on. They're all saying they're ninjas and stuff, and it's like... You can't be a ninja if you're all tamers and jugglers and stuff. But anyways, yeah, so I've noticed that there's a bit of a trend. They either start with a vile plume or a crawdont. So, um, Charlotte's a good start. Um, they also have, like, haunch crows and stuff. Ooh, Max Revive, that's handy. But yeah, they also have haunch crows, which, um, Charlotte can also take down. So if you have an electric type or, like, a bug type, this gym is going to be pretty easy for you. Uh, George has also been getting some use with, like, the core fishes and crawdons and all that stuff. I'll only do it for the gym leader. I, I have to, I have to. Hello there! I'm the gym leader of these parts, Ricky. Want to battle me? You're going to have to find the two tickets hidden around the gym. Good luck! So... Um... Uh... Yay! Da -da -da -da. <laughs> See if we can find our next one. Man. <laughs> so it's gotta be the last one. Oh, it's. Sw you have to get them both in a row. Ah! Well, <laughs> I'll see you guys whenever I do this. Oh! Okay, so you have to look on the different sides of it to find them. Yeah, well, 
you don't need to do them in the row, in a row. You just kind of look on each side. So, you have both tickets now, that warrants a battle or something like that. I look absolutely nothing like my overworld sprite, and I look like a 10 year old kid that shouldn't have a Japanese ninja accent. That was a terrible accent. <laughs> Alright, so if we take out this Crawdon, which I'm pretty sure we will, unless we miss the Bolt Tackle. Shouldn't have gone for Bolt Tackle, because Thundershock never misses, and he's a much lower level than some of the other ones I've taken down with Thundershocks before, but Bolt Tackle should take him down, no doubt. And should level us up to level 30. Awesome. So now everyone on our team is level 30 or above. Uh, I don't know what that is. So I'm just going to go out to George assuming it's dark type. Which it should be. That thing looks sick. All I have to say. And he also decides to use Parasol. <laughs> Oh my god, level 34. I'm assuming this is his, his, um, his strongest. That wasn't a very good turn. Let's try Fury Cutter. Because, I'm assuming it's dark. What the heck? That. Alright, that at least lets me know that I'm pretty sure it's also Ghost type. What does it want Hydro Pump out of? The heck? <laughs> the heck, man? What the heck? Nice critical hit. <sighs> Stop yawning. Stop yawning. Stop it. Uh oh. Well, we're gonna get some HP off the Zombrion, which is pretty nice. Uh, he withdrew it, so he would have the Parish Song taken out. That little. Ah. <laughs> Alright, let's just go out to Mozilla, because Mozilla has learned Flamethrower, which is an amazing move, uh, much better than Ember. So I replaced it, I replaced Ember with Flamethrower, because Flamethrower was awesome. Didn't do too much to the Umbreon, but Umbreon is a specially defensive tank. The fact that it did that much, I'm happy with that. Alright. With the smoke screen up, it's probably unlikely that I'm going to land a will wisp. So let's go for a confuse ray instead. So confuse ray did hit. Umbreon is now confused, which gives us the advantage in this battle. Hopefully, it can hurt itself in its confusion. Yes. So now I'm going to try to go for another will wisp because I can and <laughs> I missed. And Umbreon snaps out of confusion first turn. This is just going fantastically in my way. Uh, let's go for a quick attack. See how much that does. Absolutely nothing. Yeah, as I said, Umbreon is a defensive tank, specially and physically. Um, knowing that we're faster, I, I guess I end in a bang. Go for the flamethrower. See how much I can do. Umbreon has a very weird moveset. But, yeah, so Mozilla is down. And, uh, let's see. Into. Might as well just go into Charlotte because that's kind of the best idea here. Um, ah, he's gonna heal. Dang it. But let's see how much we can do with a, uh, a thunder shot. Hopefully. Uh, there I go with the hopefully again. Hopefully, 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 hopefully. Yeah, I'm just getting annoyed. So yeah, I got the T wave down on Umbreon. Slowing it down, even though I'm pretty sure I was already faster. But, ah, synchronize. Ah. <laughs> Dang it. I didn't know Umbreon had that ability. But Umbreon got pair hacks, which is great. And let's see how much a Volt Tackle can do. Pretty, pretty decent amount of damage. So yeah, so let's just go for another one, because we have to. <laughs> It's our only option. However, unfortunately, Bull Tackle will be taking us down. And will also be taking Umbreon down, so... No experience for anyone, unless if someone else was in that battle and got switched out or something. Nope. So, uh, no idea who he's gonna send out next. Let's just send out Sarah. Probably gonna be like a Honchcrow or his Viscomus. Yeah, Honchcrow. 
I said that weird, I'm just like, yeah, haunch crown. Haunch crown. Stay awake due to its insomnia. Amazing. <laughs> Alright, so oh yeah, let's use astonish. I didn't even think of that. That's gonna be super effect oh. <laughs> or not. <laughs> I'm actually pretty sure it's the other way around. Dark is super effective to a ghost. But finally, we took out that substitute. We can go for a... Oh, God. So down goes Sarah. Alright. Our only hope is to revive... To revive our good friend... Um... Charlotte. I don't know why the name wasn't coming to me. But... Yeah, so let's just revive Charlotte. And then uh if Charlotte is not able to take out his this kamakakabata that thing. Whoa, that was weird. It one shotted me. Jerk. <laughs> Jerk. Alright, yeah, let's just go out to Joe, take this thing out with an ice beam. Um or water pulse. Misclick there. Dang you, misclicking! But it's confused. Hopefully, it'll hurt itself in its confusion. That would be amazing if it took itself down. But no, lands off the drill pack. Man, this thing is wrecking me. So, oh, that's why I use full heal. I'm just like, why in the world would you use a full heal, dude? <laughs> You're not burned, paralyzed, or any of that. Yeah, but Joe's. No oh, man. So. Might as well use Joe to take out this thing, because we're both the same level. Ah, uh, Hydro Pump. That shouldn't do too much, but it's kind of scary. It's a, it's a huge hitting move, Hydro Pump is. Ah, oh, so close! Dang it. Let's go for the Ice Beam, see how much that can do. Pretty sure it was faster than me, so I think if I get the chance, I'll go for an Icy Wind. Because, uh... Yeah, it slows down stuff. So he's going to use Parasong, which is his funeral if he doesn't take me down. Uh, he's going to be slowed down this turn if Icy Wind hits, which it does. Hit him in the face. <laughs> slows down his speed, and I am now faster. Hopefully I'm now faster. And there I go again with the hopefully. You know what? For the rest of this video, I'm, I'm going to try not to say that word. So let's see. Hydro Pump's most likely going to take us down. But it doesn't, which is awesome. So we can just stall out this parish count even longer and be able to send in Charlotte um, if we go down, which we probably will. But it gets confused if it does manage to hurt itself in its confusion. Nope. So Joe is down. It's kind of a tough situation for us. Tempted to use that max revive on Joe. But yeah, let's just send out Charlotte and revive Joe. Just stall that Parish song as much as we possibly can. It's just, um, on my revives. Revive, use on JoJo Master Joe. <laughs> and this commands, commands, this commands. It's confused, hurt itself in its confusion, and it goes down. Perfect. So Charlotte's going to get some of that experience, she's going to share it with Joe. Seems my soul is less dark than I once thought. What? Charlotte is evolving. And congratulations, your Charlotte has evolved into Ampharos. Awesome! Shard is finally fully evolved and we're learning Thunder Punch, which is a great move. Yes, I want to learn that. Guess I'll replace it with Tackle, because we have Volt Tackle, we have Thunder Shock, we have Thunder Punch. So yeah, we don't need Tackle anymore. One, two, and poof! Shard forgot Tackle, and Charlotte learned Thunder Punch. Awesome! Well done, Zilix. You've won the Shadow Badge. That allows the use of Surf outside of battle. So nice, we got the Shadow Badge. We 
before you leave, I have to award you with one last thing. It contains torment. So I believe what torment does is it makes it so that uh, you can't move, use the same move twice. I'm pretty sure. So yeah, let's just heal up, and then I guess we'll be ending this episode. So um, yeah. Th thank all of you. I thank all of you. I thank you all for watching. Um, my name is Zilix. I'll see you guys in the next part. K-Tanks, bye.